In the earlier slides outlining the requirements for Module 8, we saw the assignment requires you to carry out the inquiry, write up the findings, interpret the findings in relation to theory and practice, use the literature and resources to justify the research and evaluate the research methods, and to discuss the findings that make a contribution to a proposed change of practice and to wider interests within education. When you've done this, you then write up your assignment and submit it. The next part of this session will look at analysis and interpretation, an area of the assignment which is identified in the interpretation of findings in relation to theory and practice. In order to do this, it's useful to examine the general structure of a research paper. In general, research papers have a number of components. These include a research question and a literature review. This is then followed by a description of the methods and research instruments which will be used to collect research data, followed by a presentation of that data. The data is then analysed and interpreted before a series of conclusions are drawn together as the outcomes of the research. Another way to look at this structure is to consider the connections between each of these sections and, for this purpose, we will divide this structure into two halves. These two halves roughly equate to the work undertaken on Module 7 and on Module 8 of the MTL. Setting the MTL module structures aside, examining the research structure this way gives rise to a number of connections. The methods and research instruments described are then carried out or executed in order to generate the data which is later analysed. Interpretation of the data is, however, not completed in isolation. Instead, it's useful to examine the data collected and examine these against the findings from other studies reported in the literature. It may be the data from your study supports the findings and conclusions of other studies or perhaps they refute the claims made by other studies. Whatever your data set contains, the interpretation and the meanings arising from your data occur when you examine, analyse and interpret your data against a backdrop of other literature. The conclusions or research outcomes arise from your data interpretation and how the ways in which they answer the original research question you set up. The conclusions should therefore answer or attempt to answer your original research question. There are many ways of writing research and it needs to be remembered that different authors sometimes combine or cover the different sections of this structure in different ways. However, the focus of the next session is on the analysis and interpretation of the data collected.